Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akam Gash. Shalom to your uh, elders by Akim Akwa, and I say Shalom. This is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, which is the prophet Jeremiah 30 verse 7 of our great forefathers. This is uh, the prophet Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. It says, At last, so that day is great, and none is like it. Even to the time of Jacob's trouble, he shall be saved out of it. And he that shall be saved out of it is that remnant, that one third remnant that we are continuing to fight for and strive for. You know, the one third remnant of the uh, children of Israel, uh, men, women, and children, definitely most of these, foremost, uh, the men of Israel, which is the Israelites, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. Because it's going to be a time like that before, you know, especially in the time of uh, Jacob's trouble. And he that shall be saved out of it was uh, the elect, the one third remnant that we continue to fight for. And Lord willing, that would be of that remnant, you know, that one third of the 144 of all the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. And this is uh, Daniel 12 and verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael, the great prince, who uh, slock you, go to the KJB version of it. Yeah, this is uh, Daniel's 12th and verse 1, and it reads, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, which is the Israelites, Judah, and Jerusalem. And there shall be a time of trouble such as was never was since there was a nation. Even to the time, even to the same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, right? Everyone that shall be found written in the book, and other one rocks aside that would be of that remnant, the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, like I mentioned before. This is uh, the book of Malachi 4, verse 1. For behold, the day coming that shall burn as an oven, and that all the proud, yea, all that be wickedly shall be stumbled, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root or branch. This is uh, Daniel 9 verse 12. It says, And he that hath performed his word which he spake against us and against our judges that judges us by bringing upon us great evils for under the whole heaven has not been done and has been done upon Jerusalem. Come. Joel 2 and verse 20. Joel 2 and verse 11, and the Lord Yahweh shall utterly utter his voice before his armies, and for his camp is very great, for he is strong that he execute his word of the day of the Lord Yahweh is straight and very terrible, and who can abide it? Huh. This is uh, Zechariah 14 and verse 1. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh, they spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. Zechariah 14 verse 2 and it reads, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses ravaged, and the women ravaged, and the half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. So with that, this was just a uh, quick sit-down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. So it's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble like never before, you know. So other one rises out of one that's going to be saved out of it is the hopeful left, the one-third remnant of all the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, the prophet Jeremiah 30 verse 7. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shem, by Hashem, Akadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwa. Until next time, I will say Shalom.